This is Enter Vlog. Today we are going to talk about one of the biggest fish pond in entire Africa. And to me, it is the most beautiful fish pond I have ever seen in my life. It is called Macy City Fish Pond in Wari Delta State, Nigeria, owned by Jeremiah Omoto Fufane. What I'm seeing here is unbelievable. The size of the football pitch in Madrid, which is known as Bernabai football pitch, is 105 meter by 68 meter, whereby the fish pond we are looking at is 500 meter by 150. This fish pond is four times bigger than Bernabeu football stadium. That is how big the fish pond is. I've come here to show you this fish pond because the Jeremiah Omoto Fufane has done a very marvelous work here. And that is why I say everybody must join farming in order to reduce unemployment. He has created a job for the youth and everybody in the village is happy. At least in this fish pond, he has employed over 250 workers working for him, which is very nice. What you should know is that Jeremiah Omoto Fufane is a pastor. He has a church, a very known pastor in Africa, but instead of him to rely only in the church, he thinks about how to help the community, how to provide for the society. And the best way to do it is to create employment for the youth. If you come here every day, you see people being busy working and he pay them on monthly basis. This also helps the economy. And that is why I said every rich man must create a business that will employ the youth because that is how to reduce crime and also to reduce poverty in the entire world in general, not only in Nigeria. Today I am in Nigeria, but what, what I teach here is also about what is happening around the world. For some youth who are looking for a job or are going up and down, go and start fish farming. Fish farming is very profitable and it doesn't need a lot of capital. With $500, with $400 or with $1,000, you can start fish farming. You should not wait until you become rich as Jeremiah Omoto Fufane. What Fufane is doing is marvelously good, but not everybody has such a grace. Therefore, if you do not have grace to be rich, you can create grace by yourself through prayer. Nothing is impossible. And the best way to do it is go to the village where the land is cheap, or sometimes land will be given to you for free. Then you start farming. This fish farm is unbelievable, and I give accolade to the pastor who, instead of thinking of being in the pool pitch every day, decided to help the youth. I have said it time without numbers. If you are rich, don't use your word for yourself alone. Think about the society around you. Think about the villages who do not have enough. Create a job for them. And the best way to do it is to build an industry. One of the best industries so far is poultry farm and fish farm. Any of them is profitable. Go and start one. Don't waste your time. Instead of faying to buy a Ferrari. Instead of him to be enjoying with his money because he is rich. Instead of him to buy golden chains, golden watches, living like Tony Montana. He decided to create a job for the masses. I give him an accolade for what he has done. Look at the fishes that is coming out from his fish farm. Beautiful fishes, catfish, a lot of fishes, different spaces coming out from his fish farm, tilapia, and so on and so forth. Don't enjoy yourself alone. God help you in order for you to help others. You helping others is not counting money and be giving them on the street. No, create employment. Create a job. Employ people, especially the village where you are living in or where you come from or wherever you are. This is the problem I have with some African rich people who have decided to enjoy, buy beautiful cars, buy a limousine, buy Rolls Royce, buy Jaguar, buy a porch, playing loud music, going to club every day. Whereas in their communities where they come from, there is nothing. No job for the youth, no good environment for living, insecurity everywhere, nothing to talk about. Instead of you to use the money which God has blessed you with to create employment, you use it for enjoyment, for extravagant life. Why don't you do like Jeremiah Omote Fufui? Build an industry, employ youth in case if anything happens to you, you have done your best for the humanity. If you die with your beautiful cars, beautiful mansions after some years, nobody will remember you. Is that what you come to this life to do? No, you come to help others. If you are fortunate, God made you to be fortunate in order to lift orders. This is the type of pastor I like because what he makes, he is not using it to press the order. 
He's using it to lift the order. Look at the fish he has produced. And every day, every day, people are busy here feeding the fish. As you can see, to feed the fish, he has boats that go around, feed the fish all the time. They sell the fish also and make money from the fish and people keep walking. But one beautiful thing about this fish farm is that it, they use it as a tourist center and they come here for tourism just to view the fish. It is also good because it is going to create, it is going to lift the community. It is going to help develop the place because many people come here and you see people selling bananas, selling plantains, selling Coca-Cola, selling soft drinks and so on and so forth every day. And apart from giving work for the community, it has also created a view center for the village. It's unbelievable. This is one of the most beautiful fish farms I've seen in my life. I do not think if there is another beautiful fish farm like this one in the world entirely. And it is very big as well. Bigger than Bernabeu football pitch in Spain. Four times bigger and have many people working there. He has said that he is going to do more. Employ more people. And we say thank you very much, Pastor. May God continue to bless you. Since what God has provided to you is what you are using to help people, May he provide more so you will help people more by building more fish ponds. Amen. As you can see, the fish pond is very big and it's unbelievable. I have never seen anything like this. Look at the fishes. And one marvelous thing is that the fishes here is very, very big. The type of fish that are coming out here is really big. It's unbelievable. Most of the fish I see are very, very big, bigger than the normal size that the fish grew. And that is the reason everybody is talking about Macy City Fish Pond. I have seen many pastors who don't think like Jeremiah. May God also touch their hearts so that they will begin to think like Jeremiah. Begin to use the money that people are giving to them to create a job. And the best way to create a job is to build a fish pond so that the masses will have where to work in case if anything happens to a pastor, the industry which he has built will still be helping people in many, many years if it is not forever. Instead of for the pastor to be buying private jets and enjoying with beautiful cars, traveling everywhere and leaving high, once the is gone, everything is gone, only the church remain. But Pastor Fufain said, no, the church will remain and I will still create employment. This is unbelievable story. A pastor who thinks about the society, a pastor who thinks about employment, a pastor who don't think only about for himself, but for the people around to create a job for them. This is the end of our program today. See you on Intervlog same time tomorrow. Thanks for watching. Please like and subscribe to my channel and press the bell icon to get new video updates. Thank you for watching Intervlog. Thank you.